stay connected. That was so munchy. All right, baby, crunch time. Good job, Leo. Good job. I mean, I just can't say anything else. Good job. Oh! No way. Basically take responsibility for being a shitty golfer. Welcome back to the channel guys. We're here in Arizona at Dobson Ranch. This place is pretty impeccable. Down here from Miami to Arizona. I'm gonna play nine holes for you guys. See how low I can go. See if I can stay connected. So like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get straight to some quality golf. First hole here is a par five. 560, this course is about 6,700 yards, so pretty gettable, I would say. Let's just put the ball in play, put it on the green and make some putts today. That one's heading a little right. All right, nothing over there. Just me out here filming today, so it's gonna be pretty interesting. Never really done it. Just put a tripod and a camera on and Stay connected. So one of the main things that I've been working on in my game lately has been to really just let go, to not play with any expectations, especially at the professional level when there could be a lot of pressure to perform. You know, you just gotta really let go and allow yourself to freely play golf. So that's my intention again for today. Did it in the last video, play like a kid with the gratitude, same similar intention, um, but a little bit more focused on just feeling free when I'm over the golf ball. Did say 560 on the scorecard, but it's actually like 520 because I think we played it from a tee up, even though I played the tips. So I only got 214 in. I got five iron in the rough, not too much wind. So just right at it, really. Pins in the center. Going for every pin today that's in the center of the green. If it's tucked and we got to play smart, we'll play smart we got to stay connected out here but this one we're going right at it looks good yeah. drawn a little bit all right we're on the green left edge of the green i've never actually played this course so it's going to be quite interesting to see how it is grass seems pretty good the layout seems pretty easy to be honest i think we can go pretty low i think Three under could be a good goal for today. Easily in the ninth hole. So we'll see. All right, just barely off the green here. We got a big breaker here. Wow, this slope is massive. Seems like the greens are the defense of this golf course. There's a lot of slope. It's coming backwards. All right, a little five footer here. Let's see how icy we are off the rip. Hmm, snuck it on the left side there. Pretty solid. Pretty easy hole there, I would say. Birdie was a given with a five iron in, so let's keep it rolling. 430 yard par four here. Some action. Really seems like the greens are the defense of this course though. So this looks like a big dog leg to the right. So I'm playing a really big cut here. Probably gonna start it just left and fade it over to the right side, which is my stock shot with the driver. So feel good about it. Yeah, love the baby fade with the driver. Stock shot. All right, we got 125, a little pitchy pitching wedge. Not full, a little three-quarter one. Keep it connected. Nope, pulled it. All right. Hole high, just pulled it. Go, go. All right, just a little short. Take the tap in far. All right, nice little par there. Hole three now, 360. Bomb a driver down there. Should be all right. All right, we got 112 here. You gotta go kind of over this tree 
but I'm thinking of just drawing around it. 52 degree into the wind, see the picture. Oh, not enough draw, center of the green. Ah. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a different angle here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 45 feet. Wow, there's a big slope. You can really see it from here. Oh, oh, routine birdie. Stay connected, stay connected. So just to give you guys a rundown of what I actually track, I track my score, how many fairways I hit, how many greens, how many putts, distance to the hole, and length of putt. So what I really gather from this is how many fairways am I hitting, how many greens am I hitting, I don't really care how many putts I have. Distance to the hole is just good to know, just to understand like what distances are bothering me or whatever, or are doing well. And length of putt, what I look at a lot. It's like how many putts am I making, inside of 12 feet. So that's kind of what I look at. Um, and I, I do it for every round really, whether it's practice round or tournament round. Get to track the stats so you can see where you're at. Hole four here, 147. Got nine iron in hand. Little three quarter shot, not a full one. I hit it good, but I feel like I hit it too soft. Yeah. Just short of the green. Good swing, just way too soft. By the way, if you guys are wondering what I'm wearing, red man. Short uh, pants, shirts are fire. Definitely go check them out. And I got Duca, no post mop shoes. Go so check them out. They're really fire stuff. I feel great on them, so stay connected. Well, this angle seemed to help on the other one, so let's see if we can repeat it. Oh, just short. Good putt though. Easy pars are always great. Definitely don't want to be confusing free swings with lazy swings though. So let's stay connected to more intensity. Look at this stuff guys. It says, attention golfers, please aim down number five fairway. The golfer is responsible for injury to persons and property caused by errant shots and by shots that leave the golf course. Thank you. Basically take responsibility for being a shitty golfer and hitting it out of bounds. Wow, that's a, that's a tough pill to swallow. All right, baby, crunch time. Par five, 500 yards, let's eat. Let's eat. I think that's perfect. Couldn't have drawn it any better. Perfect angle at the flag too. All right, we got 177 here to the flag stick. Going with the seven iron, another little three quarter shot. I like to pull these off a lot when I'm on the golf course. It keeps me in control of my, my golf ball. So let's stay connected here. That was nice. Finally a good swing. All right. 15 feet right of the hole, but that was a great swing. Back to back money swings there. Eagle putt, two under already. Chance to get to four. Looks like we're on track to hitting our goal. But we're gonna revert back to our process. Stay in the moment. Stay connected to what really matters. The journey of self-mastery as a golfer. 20 feet exactly, right to left, downhill, breaking about 12 inches. Oh, did you hit it? No, you didn't. All right, birdie, three under. Wow, what a day, what a beautiful day. Regardless of what's going on externally, obviously, this is an easy one to be grateful for, but whatever you're experiencing right now, just be grateful right now. Let's do it, let's do it together. Take a breath. 
All right, I've been waiting at least 20 minutes on this tee. So uh, definitely an opportunity to practice patience and just be grateful. Just playing by myself. There's foursomes all over the place. That's why I only made this nine holes. There's a lot of golfers out here and it's a beautiful day. First day in Arizona, kind of want to explore a little bit. Perfecto. So I just recently joined this program at the Floridian Golf Club. It's this really private course in uh, like Stewart, Florida, Port St. Lucie area. And it's basically a group of like pro golfers. There's like eight to 12 of us. There's three coaches. Claude Harmon III is one of them who teaches Dustin Johnson, Brooks Koepka. We practice four times a week, basically all day at a private facility. The other day I was hitting balls next to Victor Hovland. Um, that's one of the things I've started doing as a term professional this year. I really turned professional a couple of years ago, but this is the first year I'm really like pursuing it and doing it. And man, it's really taken my game to the next level. The video before this, where I tried to break 65, was before I was all over the place. You know, I didn't really have a structured practice. I didn't really, you know, have time to myself where I could just practice and be there with myself. And, you know, last three weeks I've been fully immersed in this program and really just allowing myself to be out there because I know what to do. It's just finally I have the environment now to do it and it's been working wonders for my game so far. I'm very excited to see where it ends up going throughout the year. So, already qualified through a, through a pre-qualifier for the Puerto Rico Open with a 67, which was nice. And, you know, I'm starting to see better results on the golf course. So practice does help intentional practice helps speaking of practice i've been practicing my wedge game a lot and right here we got 99 yards so i am licking my chops so aside from the super nice practice facility we also have a whole nine hole par three course that is basically our playground so i've been ripping wedges a lot um and it's been paying off now we got a nine footer here this thing spun back about 12 feet. Left to right, breaking about five inches. No way. Wow. That was a great putt. Can't complain. Just gotta be grateful. Seventh hole here, par three, 150 yards. Left to right wind. Got the nine iron. Learned from the last part three where I left it short from a similar distance. Gonna get a little bit more aggressive through the impact zone, but I'm still gonna maintain the three quarter swing. So let's take a neck. <clears throat> All right. Not great. A little short left on the green though. Just didn't fade or I guess take the wind enough. Yeah, that's it. So we're actually not short at all. We're actually a little long, but I got about 26 feet here. So good putt on it, good speed, gets the job done. It's literally all I focus on when I'm outside 12 feet. If you have good speed throughout the entirety of a round, you're good. All right, 400 yard par four here, eighth hole, two holes left, another 20 minute delay. They're trying to ice me, guys. They're trying to ice me, but, you know, I don't disconnect. I don't disconnect. Right down the middle. So we got 113 yards here. I got the 52 degree. Another three quarter one, licking my chops. Let's get tasty with it. That was so munchy. Little low penetrating ball flight. Didn't spin that much because it was low, it was controlled. Good job, Leo. Good job. I mean, I just can't say anything else. Good job. Really feels good to be seeing those types of wedge shots on a consistent basis now. I was really struggling with my wedges. I got new wedges, which helped a lot. Um, and also just refined my technique. So a lot of good things coming. A lot of good things happening already. So I'm excited for it. We got 15 feet here, even though it wasn't as close as I would have liked it, 
It was still a really good shot. I'm happy with it. And this is gonna be a really good putt because I must stay connected to the process here. I mean, that was a great putt. Green's a little wiggly. It's a little later in the afternoon. Is what it is though, par, one hole left. So as you guys know, or maybe not, you know, YouTube is a grind. It's not like Instagram or all the other platforms. It takes a lot to really grow on YouTube. So I really, really, really value each one of you guys that are subscribed and sharing this with people that you know, because it really means a lot. It is a grind to get these videos out there, get them filmed, get them edited, get them out there. So really, really grateful for any type of support and really encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel so you can support me along this journey as I become an exhibition golfer. I see exhibition golf in the future really being the new era of golf. You know, a combination of pro golf and content creation and, and mentorship. You, know, you gotta be able to play the game, teach the game, and grow the game, in my opinion. Uh, nowadays, this, those are the type of people we want in the golf industry, in my opinion. Uh, those are the ones that are really gonna push the needle. That's why I love what all these creators are doing, and that's why I wanna be a part of the movement. So, would really love for you guys to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and support the channel, support the movement as we go along. All right, hole nine here, final hole. But we got a par five, third one of the nine. So chance to make birdie, but it's 570. So gonna take two smokes to get it there. Uh, I tried to kill it, overcut it in the rough there. There's literally no trouble on this course. I mean, there was OB left, but I'm not going. All right, we got 270 to the stick. Into the wind, I'm just gonna smoke this three wood up there because there's nothing. Oh, high draw, right at it. If it gets there. I couldn't tell from here, but it looked good. So we're actually on the green, guys, which is a great thing. 60 feet up the hill. See how good the lag putting is. Looks good, if it gets there. Perfect speed though. It's all about speed if you don't want a three putt. So, gonna finish up at four under. The goal was three. It was a success anyway, because we're out here breathing, living another day. We gotta be grateful, but good to go low, good to score well. This course was super fun to play. Nine holes at Dobson Ranch. That's a wrap, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment down below what you guys wanna see, what type of content, you know, I told you guys it's a journey, so I'd love your feedback, love what you guys have to say. So stay connected, see you next time. So I ended up hitting eight out of nine greens, four out of seven fairways, made 57 feet of putt, and had 15 putts, shot 33, part 37. So pretty good numbers, I would say. I wanna to try to keep it at uh, over 70% of greens and fairways, so that's a bonus, that's a plus. Game's feeling good. Stay connected for the next video. See how low I can go there. Peace.